Your body needs boron to maintain proper mineral balance, regulate hormones, metabolize vitamin D, heal wounds, and grow strong bones. In this video, we're going to go over the top five benefits of sodium tetraborate, or borax for short, and um, see why you might just want to be adding that into your diet repertoire. You may be more familiar using borax as a cleaning agent or an ingredient in detergents, but borax, aka boron, is a very significant trace mineral because it affects a vast range of life processes. In fact, in Chinese traditional medicine, it's used as a herbal remedy, and in Ayurveda, Indian traditional medicine, it's an important but neglected mineral for health and youthening. The first benefit we're going to go over is osteoporosis. You know, Dr. Walter Last, he says it best when he says, boron deficiency causes greatly increased amounts of calcium and magnesium to be lost within the urine. A borax supplement will reduce the daily loss of calcium by nearly 50%. As this calcium comes mainly from reabsorbed bone and teeth, boron deficiency may be the most important factor in causing osteoporosis and tooth decay. I don't think there's much more to add to that. Following arthritis, our second benefit is arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Now, boron is a successful treatment op uh, option for arthritis patients, and um, according to Dr. Walter Last, in more than 95% of cases, there is significant improvement um, that was noticed by effectively increasing you know, the calcium integration into the cartilage and bone. So with increasing age, the bones bec might become weak and porous, and boron can stem this deterioration by ensuring that calcium levels are maximized and used effectively. The areas lacking boron, uh, which, can, which occurs in the organic matter and soil, uh, which is now very, very depleted due to agricultural practices and pesticides and herbicides, but the areas lacking boron show the highest incidences of arthritis when we eat from them. It's also safe to use um, boron to treat animal arthritis, which is surprising as well. So where does this come from? Well, the borax conspiracy uh, was written by Dr. Walter Last himself. So it's called The Borax Conspiracy, How the Arthritis Cure Has Been Stopped. And he writes in that, knowing that boron aids calcium metabolism in plants, he decided to try it. So he started taking 30 milligrams of borax a day, and in three weeks, all pain, swelling, and stiffness had disappeared. Now he goes on in the book to talk about how he was able to help other people with that. And what happened when, you know, of course, the governments got a hold of that, what he was doing and wanted to regulate what he was doing so they could basically turn boron, boron or borax into, um, you know, a poison. So he was fined $1,000 for selling this poison and that, of course, successfully stopped the arthritis cure from spreading in Australia. But if you're really interested in this, I highly recommend that book. Once again, it's The Borax Conspiracy written by Dr. Walter Last. All right, the next one is that it's a natural fungicide. Boron is excellent fungicide. Um, it really can prevent and treat candida or thrush. Girls, you know what I'm talking about. And even other fungus, mold, yeast problems within the body. Many users report successfully treating candida and athlete's foot, okay? So that's really exciting to know. And yeast and fungus and molds, these have been contributed to hot flashes and night sweats as well. So I'm going to get into boron and borax as a sex hormone treatment in just a second. But keep that in mind as we move forward. So that brings me to the sex hormones. For men and women, boron can have a large impact on hormone levels in the systems. Women are usually successfully taking boron to raise their hormone levels naturally. And as men age, obviously, their body decreases production of testosterone. And this leads to muscle wasting. So boron can replenish that testosterone production. In fact, uh, one of the areas that this has sort of been utilized is it's taken advantage of by male bodybuilders and athletes and simply because they want to increase their testosterone levels. And so what they do is usually they take about a quarter of a teaspoon of borax added to a quart of drinking water and um, along with a magnesium supplement, just drink that throughout the day. 
and that they've reported helps to reverse male impotency. Um, you know, the, of course, that is the, because of the many effects that borax actually has in the human body, and it, you know, as you know, it can stabilize calcium and magnesium in blood. It flushes out fungus, um, molds, yeast, and all the toxicity. So all of that has a really, really great influence on the hormones in the body. For women, we're really looking at quite a quite a range of possibilities where. People have reported it solved menstrual problems, womb inflammation, urinary infections, and even female libido. So what's going on here? Well, in Ayurvedic, in Ayurvedic research, um, you know, of course, that's the Indian traditional medicine. It's found to help with maintenance of normal uterine and menstrual function. And it really helps even with irregular or absent periods. It's also acts as what we can tell as a clearing of obstructions in the body. So it alleviates this kapha and vata, thus bringing balance into your system. So what the studies are showing is that it can help treat PCOS, um, hot flashes, night sweats, menopause, uh, you know, any of those effects associated with menopause, even clotted menstruation and painful menstruation. Basically, of course, what it's doing is it's ensuring that mineral level remains appropriate for even menopausal or postmenopausal women that suffer from hormone imbalances and um, of course as it flushes out any unhealthy mold yeast funguses and things like that it can really help to clear out the system. To follow on that, um, women suffering for any sort of womb inflammation, urinary bladder infections, uterus infections, that kind of thing, are recommended to soak in lukewarm bath water a couple times a day if you can. If you don't have a bath, of course, you just need to do a foot soak. Um, and if you've got the issues of thrush and that sort of thing, you can use a borax douche. Uh, three to four, up to three to four times a day. You may not need it that much, so you know, listen to your body. But all of this, you know, the douching and um, getting the borax into the bloodstream can also help with painful sexual intercourse, blood streaked vaginal discharge, abdominal dysentation, or false signs of pregnancy. So there's quite a lot of things here that um, we are unaware of that can help women. You know, if you're increasing your levels of minerals, flushing out bad toxicity, then there's a lot of things that can actually be addressed with proper mineral uh, foundations, if you will. So the last benefit I want to share is that it can be used uh, with cancer and other areas. What they found is that boron is a neutron capture agent, which is used in cancer therapy and in the development of strong enzyme inhibitors. So pretty interesting stuff there. Um, if you're interested in that, I recommend you get a hold of you know, us at Miracle Products and ask if there's any more information or start looking up your own research. Other beneficial effects that boron has is um, the reports show an improvement of heart problems, vision, psoriasis, balance, memory, and cognition. All of those things, of course, we know get better with proper mineral balance. So... With all the benefits, why is it considered to be dangerous? Well, let's get into that now. Let's get one thing straight. Boric acid is not the same as borax, aka boron, all right? Borax, sodium tetraborate, is used in the process of making boric acid, but there's a tremendous chemical difference between the two. Many of the sh studies showed uh, to demonstrate that borax was allegedly very toxic, we're actually using boric acid instead. Okay, so this is where we start getting a lot of miscommunication. <clears throat> Chronic poisoning occurs in those who are repeatedly exposed to boric acid. For example, in the past, in wars and such, boric acid was used to disinfect and treat wounds. People who received such treatment, especially over and over again, got sick and some did die. But borax, <clears throat> excuse me, even though it's not recommended for internal use is, and is purport, purported as toxic, it is in fact 200 times less toxic than common table salt. So this is where, you know, borax, boron, and boric acid get confused and why we start meshing the two together and not realizing that we actually do need that. Our bodies do need borax uh, in order to be healthy, to have proper mineral balance, to have proper mineral uptake and absorption. 
Um, and so that's where we get this, these problems. And of course, I encourage you as always to do your own research. If you have any questions, let us know at miracleproducts.shop. You can contact us there. You can also ask questions, uh, send that to support at miracleproducts.com.au. Otherwise, please like and share this page. We're excited to give you some new information. If you haven't heard this before, join our mailing list because we give out all kinds of cool nutritional information as well as discounts and coupons every single month. And um, we're excited to help you on your health journey. We'll see you on the inside. Bye.